Hello guys, you're watching the Field Gamers channel, and in today's video I'm going to show you guys a few more pool designs that I've came up with. I know that my previous pool design video did really well, and I know that a lot of you guys have been really excited to see more pool designs on my channel, so I decided to make three more. Uh, this will be pool number one, number two, and then the one on the far end will be pool number three. So let's go ahead and start with pool number one. Like I do with all my design videos, uh, or for my pool designs, I start with the shape first. So for this uh, shape, I just kind of went with a, a cool little bean L-shaped shape. Uh, I kind of made it up. Didn't really, it doesn't really have to be like dimensioned perfectly. It just needs to look kind of good from an aerial view. So I kind of made this curvy little bean shape. I liked it and I went with it. And then what I did from there is I added this little bit of landscape right here. I started by adding just random cobblestone blocks, stair pieces, half slabs, anything I wanted in a random order, kind of on just this side area of the pool. And then I added a little bit of landscape with dirt blocks and grass on the top, uh, the top middle of what I created here. Uh, just to kind of add a little bit of uh, texture to the pool itself. And then what I did is I, I took that and right next to it I added the hot tub and then I added some more blocks of cobblestone on the other side of the hot tub. Just to kind of make the hot tub look like it goes along with that little landscape. I think it goes really well with the flow of that uh, um, design or the the extra landscaping that I wanted to add for the texture of this pool. And then basically, um, as you can see, um, everything that is on the hot tub level is a block off of the original level that I started on. So after I created the shape of the pool, this is the level I was on, I went ahead and added these stairs over here and created a pool, uh, the hot tub, on the upper level that is one block above the original level that I started on. And then to um, uh, finish it off over here I made the stairs as well over here so that it would go back down to the original level and you'd be back on uh, level number one. Um, I do want to encourage you guys in your videos, or not your videos, in your uh, designs that when you're making pools, if you're just making one uh, out of, you know, just randomly like I do, just make a, a shape and then try to add elevations to your pool. Most pools that you see are just, you know, you got your shape of your pool and then surrounding the entire pool is just flat, um, you know, regular um, court blocks. Like right now I have the court blocks. If I would have just made this pool like this and surrounded the entire thing with only court blocks, it would have been a lot more boring than if I, you know, than what I did with the landscape and the hot tub that I created. So adding a little bit of texture with uh, elevation is always good. Even with the landscape right here, I surrounded this little landscaping of area with these half slab cobblestone blocks just to kind of go with the cobblestone that I used um, on the other side of the pool. And then I added this uh, palm tree. And I just actually, in my recent video, my one right before this, I did some palm tree design. So I kind of wanted to incorporate my previous design video into this one. Um, if you haven't seen that, you can go to my channel and see that. Uh, I created a lot of cool palm tree designs. Um, but yeah, so basically, like, like I said, um, just try to get some elevation to your pools. Um, to finish the pool off, all I did was add some of these chairs and um, just the basic uh, stair piece with a half slab on the end of it just to make a reclining chair um, and then basically that was it for this pool and then for the inside of the pool on the floor I used the diamond blocks uh, in this texture pack from an aerial view the diamond the blue diamond color really stands out and I think it looks really well with the uh, with the white surrounding it so that's just an idea I did like that idea um, and then also I made this pool different elevations. The bottom side is supposed to be the deep end. And then I used half slabs to kind of make it go up to the shallow end for like the kid area. Um, so yeah, that's that's my design for pool number one. Well, let's go ahead and move on to pool number two. For pool number two, I started with this. Um, it kind of looks like a, a, I really I honestly don't know what it looks like. I wanted to go with like the front. I wanted it to be more circular. So I kind of made this um, circular looking front. And then at the back, originally it was just flat. So from this wall all the way to the other end was flat. And then I added this waterfall, so I decided to add a little bit of depth so that you could walk behind the waterfall or uh, swim behind the waterfall. So I added a little bit of depth right here. Um, so basically with that, um, what I did to start off this pool, after I created the shape, um, I started on the left side and I just kind of started building up. I started with these cobblestone uh, moved up a cobblestone block, moved up a little bit more until I had my uh, the center level where it was the highest I was going to go. And I was satisfied with this height and basically I just mirrored the, the same effect on this side, came down with it. And so from a front view, this is all I had. And then what I did from there is I added this outline of cobblestone 
all the way around the back so and I made sure that it went along with the same uh, as the front I made sure that it w you know went along a, in terms of how high it was so that it matched the front and then once I had this outline of cobblestone I had this area that I just got I filled it in with landscape so um, all this area that was in between the outline that I created I just used grass blocks and then I put grass on it I used these leaf blocks for bushes um, I, and at the top center area I used the uh, palm tree designs and just to kind of add a little bit of a tropical look to it and then I even added these uh, what do you call them the torches just to kind of add a little bit of light at night um, and then what I also did is after I had the grass in there I put these little cobblestone island parts in the center of it just to kind of make it look like a little island going through the, the landscape um, it kind of gives it a little bit more texture makes it a little bit more or less plain and so that's what you can see here. Uh, I mirrored it on the both, you know, on both sides. And then on the center, I created the outline for how big I wanted this little pond to be. And then I created the pond, filled it with water, um, created a little opening for the water to pour out, and then you have your waterfall. And I thought it looked really cool. Here's a, uh, you know, an aerial view, I guess you can call it, like at an angle. And um, from there, it was really simple. I got to fill in the rest of the floor with cobblestone, add a few seats, you know. The rest of it was pretty easy. The main part was just adding that waterfall and having the landscape because, again, like the pool makes you know it looks a lot better when you have that landscape in the background when you have something to make it pop a little bit. Um, compared to like some of my other pools in my previous design, this pool is nice, but it, it, it would have been nice if I had some landscape on the outer sides of it. These are the pools from my previous video. Uh, but yeah, so I'm, I've definitely been trying to put a little bit more work in my, my pool designs by adding uh, more texture and more um, landscape and other things to the pool to make it pop a little bit more. Um, so that's basically it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, surround it real quick, um, do, do a quick view with my camera. At this moment, you can uh, take screenshots, you can pause the video and try to copy this down as best as you can. Um, I mean, I know it's really, I didn't actually do a tutorial video on how to build this step by step, um, but if you want to just kind of pause the video at random moments um, to try to copy this down as best as you can, now would be the time to do it. Um, I'll go ahead and go through the front too so you can try to copy this down if you would like to. Um, so here I'm going to go ahead and do a quick pan through the front view so you can see the whole thing. Again, you can take screenshots. Um, Pause the video if you need to, step by step, um, any way you need to do it. Uh, I'm c completely okay with you making this exactly the way I've created it. So that's pool number two. Um, I'll come back to that in a minute. I'll go ahead and go to pool number three real quick. This will be my final design for this video. Um, basically, here's my shape. Again, no idea what this shape is supposed to be, um, but the, the, that's what makes a pool look good. If you can't really define what the shape is supposed to look like, that's what makes it a good pool. If it was a distinguished uh, rectangle, then yeah, it's not really that exciting. But when you have a shape that's really like wobbly and circular and kind of looks like a, just a blob, I think those pools look the best. So here's this really cool looking shape. Um, I added this pool design, or not the pool design, hot tub. Um, around it again with my other pot tub I made it a block above the original level for the regular pool I just do that so that the the hot tub itself actually stands out a little bit um, Because if it's on the same level of the pool Then it kind of blends in too much and I don't really like that so to make this uh, a level above Here's the original level that I started on so when I created the shape of the pool. Let me change the time real quick when I created the shape of the pool, this is the level I was on. And then basically I just used the, the, the what do you call it, the sandstone. And then when I got to this point, I built it up one half slab, created this little table, which I can come back to in a second. And then I kept going, then I created it another half slab above. So now we're a full block off the ground. And then once you're full block off the ground, I uh, was able to make this pool design or this hot tub um, one block above the original layer that I was on. So, and then I added these, uh, what do you call it, these chairs, which are pretty simple to do. And then to add the extra oomph to the pool design, I added the landscape. So I had this back part, I just started right here, and I started with these, these um, brick blocks, and I started with it being a half block, or half slab, off of the original layer. And then I kind of just surrounded the pool, stopped right here at a random, just a random spot, so I tried to make it like a third of the way across and then I went up another half slab 
tried to go another a third of the way across and then I went up a full block instead of a half slab just to kind of create a difference in in depth and in uh, elevation and then I finished it all the way until I was at the end of my pool and then from there I just kind of surrounded the rest with a random shape and um, I followed the same elevations that I did with the front so you can see I followed the same elevations and then I added the grass the bushes the grass um, the like the the grass on top of the grass to make it more look like weeds and landscape um, and then I added these regular trees instead of the tropical trees just so you can kind of get an idea of what it looks like um, with any type of tree that you decide to put on there um, and then basically after that I was done um, I added this table over here just to add a little bit more to the the pool with uh, half slabs and these um, piston blocks um, uh, since this is on a half slab it kinda made the piston blocks look a little cooler um, but yeah that's that's it for pool number three uh, again without the landscape in the background this pool wouldn't look even you know even anywhere close to as good as it does now so adding that landscape definitely helps um, so this is pool number three this is pool number two and this is pool number one over here to the right what I'm gonna have you do is in the comments below I'm gonna have you vote on either pool number one two or three depending on which one gets the most votes um, within the next week or two or however long I want to wait I'm gonna you know after after a week or two or however long I feel like waiting I will go ahead and tally up the votes and whichever vote gets the most um, and by the way you only get one vote per per YouTube channel so if you you know have your channel and you you can only vote once um, the one who gets the most votes I will do a step-by-step -step walkthrough of how to make that uh, pool so for the one in front of me for example this one would be really hard for me to you know get you to build just by looking at it it's really hard to build um, step by step so if you wanted me to build uh, pool number two I will build it step by step so that you can see exactly how I created it and so that you can um, actually follow along and it can be an actual tutorial video rather than just a design video so uh, leave your vote and I'll get to that in about a week or two and then I'll get back to you and have that video uploaded so that you guys can actually create one of these pools um, exactly the way I've created it and actually have it for your server and it'll look really cool so if you haven't subscribed to my channel I would love it if you did so I put a lot of work into my channel I want more subscribers um, also like the video uh, follow me on Twitter all the thing all of those things really would help um, but that is all I have for you guys today. Uh, don't forget to leave your vote, and I will see you guys in my next video. See you guys later.